Hello students, uh, welcome back in our lecture series, Mathematics 3 for all mechanical engineering students. Uh, so, myself Dr. Ankit Acharya and uh, this is our second lecture. So, in this lecture, uh, we will discuss about Newton forward interpolation formula, backward interpolation formula and uh, sculling interpolation formula. Okay, And how we can solve some important example using this method. So, first uh, I want to explain about Newton's uh, forward interpolation formula. Okay. Let the function y is equal to f of x takes the value y0, y1, y2 up to yn corresponding to the value x0, x1, x2 up to xn of x. And uh, suppose it is required to value of f of x for some x is equal to x0 plus rh, okay, where r is any real number. Uh, that means uh, suppose the entries of x uh, that is uh, 5, 10, uh, 15, 20, 25 okay and uh, the value of y that is any value you can take any value okay that is not so important uh, but suppose if you want to find the value of y okay find y when x is equal to suppose let's say 7 right so uh, 7 is between 5 and 10 and the value of y for x is equal to 7 that is not given in the table okay so for that we use this Newton's forward interpolation formula, right? And here again, don't forget this is a finite difference. Uh, five or uh, ten minus five that is five. Fifteen minus five or uh, ten that is five. So h is equal to five, right? H is equal to five. And what is your x? X is equal to seven. So this x is equal to seven. X zero is a first entry. X zero is a first entry. Okay. So x zero is nothing but five. And r into h. So h is five. Okay, here. So uh, you have to remember this formula, right? Y R that is equal to Y zero plus. Uh, this is a proof of this Newton's forward interpolation formula, but proof is not important for exam point of view. So just remember this Newton's forward interpolation formula. That is Y R that is equal to Y zero plus R delta Y zero plus R R minus one divided by two factorial delta square Y zero plus R R minus one divided by two factorial. Uh, r r minus 1 r minus 2 divided by 3 factorial delta cube by 0 plus n to 1 okay and uh, <coughs> let's try to solve some important examples okay suppose i want to find the cos hyperbolic at point 56 okay so now what is my x x is point 56 using newton's forward interpolation formula right from the following table the value is given value is 0.5 and the value of x is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 so clearly what is your h? h is 0.1, okay, finite difference 0 0.6 minus 0 0.5 that is 0 0.1, 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 that is 0 0.1, okay, so h is 0 0.1, what is your x? x is 0 0.56 and what is your x0? x0 that is the first entry, x0 is 0 0.5, okay, so here I already mentioned x is 0 0.56, x0 is 0 0.5, h is 0 0.1, now r, r is, r is what? x minus x0, divided by h, okay, see, this is x is equal to x0 plus rh, so when you, uh, r is uh, as a subject, so r is what, x minus x0 divided by h, okay, so remember this formula that r is nothing but x minus x0 divided by h, so first of all you have to find the value of r, that is x minus x0 divided by h, so 0.56 minus 0.5 divided by 0.1, so using your calculator you will get 0.6 okay so the value of r is 0.6 now find uh, uh, make a forward difference table so this uh, the value of x and f of x f of x means y okay this is y is equal to f of x don't forget so 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 uh, and all these entries the of f of x now 1.185465 minus use your calculator and uh, try to solve this one point 1.85465 minus 1.127626. 1.127626. Okay, so you will get this entry 0 0.0578390.0. 0 0.057839. Okay, please uh, check this value. Similarly, 
uh, 1.255169-1.185 okay the below entry minus the above entry right so that is 0 0.0697 0 0.04 singly uh, 1.237435-1.255169 that is you will get 0 0.082266 okay uh, because of we are using forward difference interpolation formula so that's why we use this all entries okay this is y0 this is delta y0 this is delta square y0 this is delta cube y0 okay so this four entries we will use in our formula okay similarly uh, delta square f of x you can easily find out that 0 0.069704 minus 0 0.057839 that you will get 0 0.011865 Similarly, here 0 0.012562. Okay. Uh, now, see the formula is y r that is y zero plus r delta y zero plus r r minus one divided by two factorial delta square y zero into one. The value of r is already we find out delta square y zero delta uh, delta y zero delta square y zero delta cube y zero. Uh, okay. Or uh, I already mentioned this is y zero. This is delta y zero. This entry. This is delta square y zero. Delta cube by zero. Okay. Now, uh, by Newton's difference formula, f of x zero. So that is this is y zero. Okay. First entry that is one two seven so one point one two seven six two six. So one point one two seven six two six. This is h value of h. Oh, sorry, value of r r into delta y zero. This is delta y zero. This is r into r minus one divided by two factorial delta square y zero. This is r r minus one r minus two divided by three factorial delta cube by zero. Okay, using your calculator, you can easily find out all this value, and this is your final answer. Got it? Uh, let's try to solve one more example. This is also important example. You can see that in previous university exam, this example already asked. So using this forward interpolation formula, find the value of f of two one eight. Okay, and finite difference hundred uh, one fifty. So difference is fifty. That you can easily Check it. Okay, 200, 250, 300, 350, and 400. So clearly, h is 50. Okay, you want to find the value of uh, x, value of y at x 218. So what is your x? X is 218. What is your x zero? X zero is first entry. What is your first entry? That is 100. Okay. So easily you can find out the value of r. R is what? X minus x zero divided by h. Okay. So here I already mentioned. Formula x minus x zero divided by x so two one eight minus hundred divided by fifty so two point thirty six okay so in our formula we will put the value of r that is two point thirty six now then find out the forward difference table okay so this is hundred one fifty two hundred two fifty three hundred three fifty and four hundred right up to four hundred all the values are given uh, the value of f of x that is y y is equal to f of x okay so Make sure that in between this two entry, you have to skip one line in your notebook, in your answer sheet. Okay, skip one line between any two entry, right? So you can easily make this table and clearly visible. Okay, now 13.03 minus 10.60, so that you will get 2.4. 15.04 minus 13.03, you will get 2.01. 16.81 minus 15.04. Get 1.77. So make your first column delta f of x. Similarly, 2.01. Okay, zero entry minus above entry. In all the forward difference table, backward difference, central difference, the entries are similar. Okay, uh, there is no difference in entry in table. Right. So 2.01 minus 2.4. That is minus 0.39 uh, minus 0.24. Uh, all entries. I hope you will get very easily. Now we in formula. Because of we are using forward difference table, so that's why we use all these entries. This is y zero, this is delta y zero, this is delta square y zero, this is delta two y zero, delta four y zero, delta five y zero, delta six y zero. Right? So uh, by Newton's interpolation formula, c f of x zero r delta f of x zero. Quite lengthy examples. Okay, r r minus one divided by two factorial delta square f of x zero. So that is. Uh, Delta y zero. This is don't forget. This is delta y zero. I hope you can understand. This is delta square y zero. Okay, f of x zero is nothing but y zero. So delta two y zero. Okay, delta x two four y zero. Delta x two five y zero. Okay, you can also write f of x zero or you can write y of zero. 
right? Delta six y b. Uh, put all these entries, and uh, using your calculator, you can easily find out this value, right? Very easy. I hope you can solve. Okay, next is a Newton's backward interpolation formula. Okay, so uh, the slightly formula change that y is equal to f of x, so y zero, y one, y two up to corresponding to the values of x zero, x one, x two, two of x, and uh, for that we have to use this formula. Okay, by and the proof is not important, so forget about the proof. Okay, proof is not important, so just try to remember this formula y r that is equal to y n. Y n means what? Last entry in the column of y. Okay, the last entry is y n. Try to find out the difference between forward interpolation formula and backward interpolation formula. In forward inter interpolation formula, we use y zero. What is y zero? Y zero is the first entry of the column of y. Okay, and y n here is the last entry. Right. So y n r r is different. R is what x minus x zero that is equal to r h. So R is now x minus x zero upon h. Okay. So R is same. The formula for R is same, right? X minus x zero upon h. But here we use uh, backward difference table. So that's why nabla y n, nabla square y n, all the last entries of particular column. Okay. See this last entries. Okay. The en entries of the tables are always same. Either you use the forward difference interpolation formula or backward difference interpolation formula. Okay. Entries are always same in any table. Don't forget. Okay. Always you have to uh, suppose uh, this is our first example, right? For Newton's forward backward difference operator. See the entries of x is 1500, 150, 200, 250. Uh, entries of y that is 618, 724, 805, 906, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 1032, 
R into R plus one, R R plus one, R plus two. Okay, and divided by three factorial. Here we have two factorial, four factorial. Use your calculator. So you can easily find out this value one one four eight. Okay. Try to solve more and more example for Newton's forward and backward uh, interpolation formula. Okay. Uh, now, uh, next important formula is Stirling interpolation formula. Okay. And for that. Uh, central difference operator we use stirling formula y r that is uh, okay use this formula y r that is y0 plus r delta y minus 1 plus delta y0 divided by 2 plus r square by 2 factorial delta square y minus 1 uh, this formula is quite tricky okay but how we can apply that i will explain in example okay using stirling formula estimate the value of 10 16 so 16 is between 15 and 20 right here somewhere okay so uh, the entries of x is already given 0 5 10 15 20, 20 25 and 30 degree y of 10x the value of 10x is given that 0 0 0.0875 0 0.1763 0 0.2679 uh, 0 0.3640 0 0.4663 and 0 0.5774 okay uh, again r is same uh, the value of r is uh, same as in newton's forward interpolation formula so r is x minus x0 upon h so that is 16 minus 15 divided by 5 so that is 0.2 okay easily you will calculate uh, h is 5 degree okay 5 minus 0 so h is 5 okay now try to understand this table very carefully uh, 0 the first and second entry that is already given 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 okay now this r the value of r that is uh, we consider this entry is a 0th entry okay because of uh, we want to find out 10, 16 and 16 is between 15 and 20 as I told you. So let's try to consider this is my 0 entry. This is minus 1 entry, minus 2 entry, minus 3 entry and this is first entry, second entry and third entry. Okay. So 0 entry, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, here 1, 2, 3. Now in Stirling interpolation formula, here you can see that how many entries, how many values we have to use. Okay. Again, uh, this column of y is already given. You can easily find out. Uh, this is just a forward difference table. Okay, minus 0 0.0875 minus 0. So 0 0.0875, 0 0.1763 minus 0 0.0875. So you will get 0 0.0 triple uh, eight, 0.2679 minus 0.1763. So you will get 0 0.0916 here. Now we have to use this entry. See, first this is exactly. Uh, y0 right then this is c minus 3 entry so this all entries diagonal entries are minus 3 entries this is delta y minus 3 okay this is delta y minus 3 this is delta square y minus 3 now you can understand okay uh, similarly this is delta cube y minus 3 delta is to 4 y minus 3 delta is to 5 y minus 3 delta is to 6 y minus 3 same way here uh, minus 2 so okay this is minus 2 entry so delta y minus 2 delta square y minus 2 delta 2 by minus 2 and so on this is minus 1 entry okay minus 1 entry so this is delta y minus 1 delta square y minus 1 delta cube by minus 1 delta raised to 4 by minus 1 same way for 0 entry okay so this is uh, delta y0 delta square y0 so First entry, this is minus 0 0.2679. Then we have to average of this two entry, 0 0.0916 and 0 0.0961. Then one entry. Then in next column again two entry, average of this two entry. Then one entry. Okay. And then again two entry. This two entry. Right. And then one entry. Okay. I hope you can understand using this table. Okay. So finally we use this entry. Then one entry. Then in next column above entry and below entry then in next column only one entry then this two entry we have to use then one entry then this two entry okay and after that this entry clear easy to understand now see this is our formula y0 then r now this two entry average of this two entry okay so delta y minus 1 delta square y0 so this is delta y minus 1 and delta y0 okay so put all this value in this formula and finally you will get this answer. I hope you can easily calculate uh, 
we can easily calculate. First of all, you have to put all this value, the value of r, delta y0, delta y minus 1, delta square y minus 1, okay. And easily, uh, using your calculator, you can easily calculate and finally you will get this answer. So in today's lecture, we discuss about Newton's forward interpolation formula, backward interpolation formula and sculling interpolation formula. Uh, and these three methods are for finite differences. In next lecture, we will discuss about for unequal interval, okay. And there are two methods in your syllabus. Uh, first one is the Langerhans interpolation formula and next one is the Newton's divided interpolation formula. Up to this, thank you.